a Wikividi Documentaries production. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Enjoy. Completely Fair Scheduler The Completely Fair Scheduler is a process scheduler which was merged into the 2 June 2023 release of the Linux kernel and is the default scheduler. It handles CPU resource allocation for executing processes and aims to maximize overall CPU utilization while also maximizing interactive performance. Con Colivas work with scheduling, most significantly his implementation of fair scheduling, named Rotating Staircase Deadline, inspired Ingo Molnar to develop his SFES as a replacement for the earlier row scheduler, crediting Colivas in his announcement. In contrast to the previous O scheduler used in older Linux 2.6 kernels, the SFES scheduler implementation is not based on run queues. Instead, a red black tree implements a timeline of future task execution. Additionally, the scheduler uses nanosecond granularity accounting. The atomic units by which an individual process share of the CPU was allocated. This precise knowledge also means that no specific heuristics are required to determine the interactivity of a process, for example. Like the old O scheduler, SFES uses a concept called sleeper fairness, which considers sleeping or waiting tasks equivalent to those on the run queue. This means that interactive tasks which spend most of their time waiting for user input or other events get a comparable share of CPU time when they need it. Algorithm The data structure used for the scheduling algorithm is a red-black tree in which the nodes are scheduler-specific underscore entity structures. These are derived from the general task underscore struct process descriptor. With added scheduler elements, the nodes are indexed by processor execution time in nanoseconds. A maximum execution time is also calculated for each process. This time is based upon the idea that an ideal processor would equally share processing power amongst all processes. Thus, the maximum execution time is the time the process has been waiting to run. Divided by the total number of processes, or in other words, the maximum execution time is the time the process would have expected to run on an ideal processor. When the scheduler is invoked to run a new process, the operation of the scheduler is as follows. If the process spends a lot of its time sleeping, then its spent time value is low and it automatically gets the priority boost when it finally needs it. Hence such tasks do not get less processor time than the tasks that are constantly running. OS Background SFES is an implementation of a well-studied, classic scheduling algorithm called Weighted Fair Queuing, originally invented for packet networks. Fair queuing had been previously applied to CPU scheduling under the name stride scheduling. However, SFES uses terminology different from that normally applied to fair queuing. Service error is called wait underscore runtime. In Linux implementation, and queue virtual time is called fair underscore clock. The fair queuing SFES scheduler has a scheduling complexity of O, where N is the number of tasks in the run queue. Choosing a task can be done in constant time, but reinserting a task after it has run requires O operations, because the run queue is implemented as a red-black tree. SFES is the first implementation of a fair queuing process scheduler widely used in a general-purpose operating system. Fairer algorithms Technically, the name, completely fair scheduler, is not entirely correct since the algorithm only guarantees the unfair level to be less than O, where N is the number of processes. There are more complicated algorithms which can give better bounds over the unfair levels. The Linux kernel received a patch for SFES in November 2010 for the, the 2nd of June 1938 kernel that has made the scheduler fairer for use on desktops and workstations. Developed by Mike Galbraith using ideas suggested by Linus Torvalds, 
The patch implements a feature called autogrouping that significantly boosts interactive desktop performance. The explanation of the basic algorithm implementation was included by Mike Galbraith in a post about the patch. The primary issues solved by this are for multi-core as well as multi-CPU systems experiencing increased interactive response times while performing other tasks that use many CPU intensive threads in those tasks. A simple explanation is that, with this patch applied, one will be able to still watch a video, read email, and perform other typical desktop activities without glitches or choppiness while, say, compiling the Linux kernel or encoding video. Initial patches for the autogroup feature tied grouping to a T. But the eventually merged patch settled on an implementation that tied groups to sessions created via the SETSID system call. The autogroup feature implements task group creation only for fair class tasks and, as such, leaves the way open for enhancement. Even at this basic implementation this patch can make Linux on the desktop a reality for all those who have found desktop performance to be less than desired. As Linus Torvalds put it, Brought to you by Wikivideo Documentaries. Would you like to know more?